Decision making functions are a great toolkit to have when working with spreadsheets. So over here we have a data sheet that includes transactions, sales transactions, providing details of the sales representative, the product that was sold, the units, the profit margin and the total revenue. So we have a status column here which is blank. So we want to fill it up based on a criteria. So we want to check if the revenue is greater than or equal to the average revenue. So we have used the aggregate function here to calculate the average revenue. Okay. So if it is greater than or equal to the average, then I'm defining that the status is high. And if it does not achieve that, it will be defined as low. So let's uh, go ahead and apply this. So I'm going to use the if function to actually uh, implement this criteria. So with the if function, so the first uh, parameter over here is the logical test. That is, what is it that we want to be checked? So that is, we will check if the average revenue is, okay, that is, if the revenue that we have selected is greater than or equal to, so that is how you will apply the operator, greater than or equal to the average revenue so we have the average revenue selected over here so what we can do is we can freeze this cell we can use function f4 or you can create a cell reference as well that's also possible right for now we'll just freeze the cell so if this is true that is where you will first you will provide the uh, optional parameter here what should you do if this criteria is true so if it is true i'm going to say it is high right and then value if false i will say it is low right so i'll just follow the parameters and provide the values accordingly so the first parameter here is value of true which i gave as high and the second one is value of false which i gave as low so it will check the condition and it will apply the values based on it being true or false okay so let me just execute that and there you go uh, since we created a table, we don't have to drag down the formula. So the whole operation becomes very simple. So it uh, executes the formula for the entire table. So as we can see over here, um, there is one value that is, uh, you know, that draws a little bit of uh, concern. We can see that the value here is 67.99, 0 .01%, 0 0.01% away from the average revenue so let's say we want to consider these kind of values as well uh, so what we could do is we could round up the values i mean we could round up the revenues when we calculate or when we take decisions on the status column so what we can do is we can use another function here called as round up or round down is the other function. So here round up means we will uh, round up to the uh, bigger integer. So in this case, 67.99 will be treated as 68. So I'm going to use round up and I'm going to put this value within that function. Perfect. And now if I execute it, okay, I think I'm missing something here. Okay, round up greater than or equal to. Okay, I'm actually missing something. Okay, so I would need to actually provide the uh, number of decimal places that I would need to round up. So that is the uh, parameter that uh, I had missed. So I'd need to provide the number of digits as well. So number of digits in my particular case, it will be zero. I want to round up to the nearest uh, whole number. Now if I run the function, look at that 67.99 is being treated as high. So this is how you can, uh, you know, uh, cater to these uh, minor requirements within your data, right? So uh, that's how we went about it. So just running through that function again, we did a, a roundup to the highest integer value. And uh, based on that, just checking against the average revenue that we had calculated and then uh, it is applying either high or low if the condition 
is either true or false. Correct. So now if we are to remove some of these values here, it's going to be dynamic because the average revenue is going to change accordingly. So here, look at that. The average revenue has changed and the status is dynamically changing. So as and when we keep adding values into uh, this table, you're going to see a change. Okay. So it is totally dependent on the scenario that you are trying to achieve. So this is the simplest way that we can apply or uh, implement a decision uh, into our spreadsheet.